hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you how to make this type of photo editing that means this one was the ordinary image and after adding the preset you are getting this type of effects in your photographs so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first i'm going to the home and i collected a stock image which is uh, from the unsplash.com and i'll provide you the download link in my description please check it out for your practice purpose after that you can drag it or drop over here or you can press ctrl or command j you can get the another copy of this layer then after that you can edit the layer name and then going to the filter and camera filter so this camera filter is updated which is 13.0.2 and if you want to get the update download link in my video description please check it out so here you will get the load settings option i made a preset for you guys and i'll provide you that preset download link in my video description which is the name is doggy and load it up and you are getting the instant effects or change in your photographs let's see what was the settings in this preset so at first the temperature plus 5 and tint plus 18 which is the exposure 0 0.04 or 40 whatever it is and the highlights that is minus 59 the shadow plus 30 that's why you're getting some shadows and black areas in this photo and white that is plus 38 and texture that is plus 5 clarity plus 9 and dehaze that is plus 4 so what is the mechanism of the dehaze and haze so if you increase or decrease the value which is the minus value it will be foggy and if you take this one into plus value it will be more clearer and then the vibrance minus 3 and the saturation which is minus 5 that's good and going to the curve and here uh, two curve i used over there which is the red curve in the upper side of the red curve you're getting the red and the downside you are getting the aqua color from here you're getting the green actually green curve this one upper side you'll get the green and the downside you'll get the magenta that's good and if we watch over the uh, values of the points suppose uh, the green the curves the input value is 0 and output value is 6 and here the middle of the point which is uh, 112 for the input value and output value 107 and the upper side which is uh, 255 and output value 249 that's good and now going to the detailing options three portion sharpening noise reduction and color noise reduction so we are getting two noise which is the normal noise and the color noise here the normal noise value which is uh, 40 and the color noise value that is 38 that's good and the sharpening amount which is 23 color mixture the most vital point of the photo editing hue saturation luminance so hue what is the hue hue which color will be and the saturation the percentage of the color that means what will be the percentage of that color you want to use in your photographs from the hue and the luminance which is the intensity of the color if you down or up the uh, like color of the luminance you can get the dim or light that means the intensity will be increased or decreased over there the hue which is uh, the value uh, red hue value that is plus 8 orange plus 7 and the green plus 59 and the aqua minus 23 and the blues that is plus 38 saturation the red saturation value that is 14 and the orange minus 45 that's why you are getting the dim type orange color over there and the yellow minus 36 and here the green that is minus 34 aqua minus 74 in the intensity if we look over there the red intensity that is 14 which is plus value and the orange as well plus 13 and color grading three color in the photo uh, the normally if we look over the photo here the darker area which is the shadow and the highlighted area which is highlight and the middle of the highlight and the shadow you are getting the mid tone over there so we will give or provide the color these three things that means in the shadow color which color will be this defined in the shadow portion here the hue you will pick up the color the value is 304 in this case and the saturation that means the percentage that is 15 and here the mid tone mid tone value which is 98 and the saturation uh, 13 
you can uh, just blend over there and the uh, balance from this slider according to this slider if you in this case i'm just giving this the value zero here the highlight value of the hue 190 and the saturation 13 that's it optics geometry and effects i didn't use over there and the calibration from here i'm getting the color three color which is the red green and blue primary the red primary color which is plus 68 for the color picker and the saturation plus 50 green primary plus 65 and the saturation plus 48 and the blue primary minus 65 and saturation plus 8 that's good and i just saved these settings for you guys and please check out my video description for the download link and hit the ok button after that you are getting the instant change over there now now i'll add another filter from the nick collection going to the filter nick collection and color effects pro 4 so this color effects pro 4 another plugins for the photoshop so here uh, you are getting the cross processing options and lots of sub method over there which one is perfect for your photography you can define or you can work with that l02 is good for me or l03 those are nice l03 is good and the percentage of strength that is 35 and hit okay it's taking time to load it up and providing you the output which is the final output before and after so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am asm arif signing out today and have fun be healthy keep me in your prayers as well until the next video bye bye